Hi. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to paint the poppy on this um, this little glass jar. And it's a used one I got at the uh, Goodwill. I've been having it a good while. I pick up things along the way sometimes just to practice on and paint, see what I can do with it. And it's got a little lid to it. But anyway, and it has the little silver year, 25 years together. So we'll see if we, we can paint over that. And um, I'm going to paint a blue poppy. We'll see how it comes out. I don't know if it'll cover well. We'll, we'll find out, though. But I'm happy y'all are here. Hope everybody's doing good. Let's see here. Oh. I need a little bit of that floating medium with my acrylics. Uh, I'm sorry, enamel paints. You have to use enamel on glass, not, not acrylics. Okay, let's see how this will work. I might have to paint over it a couple times for it to cover. Let's see. Looks like it'll have to be two coats. That's okay. I'll go over it again. And it takes a little longer for the acrylic, uh, enamel, I'm sorry, for the enamel to dry than it does acrylics, on glass especially. But um, that's okay. While it's drying, I might go ahead, I guess I'll go ahead and put a little greenery into it while that kind of dries a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of thicket green and some of this citrus green. This is multi-surface. Um, the thicket also is multi-surface. Folk art, both of them. So it's either enamel, enamel or paint, or you can use the multi-surface if you can't find if you can't find enamel, you can use this. I prefer enamel, but you can't always find it anymore. And sometimes you can find limited colors in it. But this works okay. This this will work if you like to paint on glass. Okay. We're just gonna we're gonna have to wait and do this, but I can I can add some leaves just in here. Just a little bit while that dries. We can add more later also. And if you like to do glass Make sure you just put it in a cold oven. Just lay it on your on your rack. You can put a piece of a foil down first if you like, and and make sure your oven is not on. It's cold. And put your oven to 325. They they'll have your directions on the paint on your enamel or your uh, multi-surface paint. Uh, I always just put mine on 325. And I turn at, in a cold oven. I turn it to 325, and I let it sit in there, cold, for 45 minutes. Put my timer on 45 minutes, and I turn it off. And I usually don't check or pull with my oven again for two to three hours. 
a lot of times what I do is I'll put it on at night time and before I go to bed after 45 minutes I turn it off and I don't touch it again until morning. I've never had a glass break. If you open that oven too soon you're going to pop your glass after all the work you put into it. <coughs> so make sure, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you let that um, you let that oven cool real, real good, because it will it will pop your glass in there. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna do this. Okay, there we go. Pound some of this mixed color into here. A little bit right now. This would be the center of the pocket. <clears throat> okay. Gotta go back over this anyway though, so. You can see, I try to be aware of my hand in the way, you know. Now I'm going to pounce again with the scruffy brush. I'm going to put the liger in here. And in the center, I'm going to go ahead and put some Green. I'll use some of my light and dark green. I don't know what's going to show up better. Probably the lighter green. I think so. I think the lighter green will show up. Just make you some little pulls through it. Touch them, touch the tip of them. We'll tip them in the little yellow. And need a little bit more of that floating, floating medium to uh, get it a little um, smoother. It's thick. The enamel paint is thicker than it's thicker than the acrylic paint. So gonna dot. Dot the little um, the little green marks there like that. And then I'm gonna come back with some white to brighten it up again. Just like we did the little California poppy. Just brighten it up some. Just to make it stand out. Okay. Now, we'll come back and make that bottom leaf. I mean the bottom petals. So 
what we'll do is we'll come out here and then I'm going to turn my brush and bring it into here like that and that's how that one will go okay and I don't think I'll need a second coat because that's pretty thick on there I think that coat will be fine and over here we're going to make a couple little little buds down here. Teardrop stroke again. Can you see that? I hope so. Okay. I'll go over this one too. So now we can go over the um, the green, the leaves, the stems, some yellow in here. We'll go ahead and put them. Well, let's put this here. So on this, on the bottom of the on the bottom of the poppy here, we'll just make some little give it a little base here of it, and then bring it over here. Okay. Make it a little bit of ruffled leaf. Can you see that? Okay. Another one over here. These are just going to be lighter, but that's okay. We won't worry about it. And then I'm going to take my liner brush, some of this dark green. It's finer. It's finer to go ahead and put uh, these little strokes in here. You can see that, okay? Yeah. Green is not covering as good, um, but that's all right. It's just it's just a little bit more opaque and so translucent. I mean, but that's okay. We'll just leave it like that. We won't worry about it. Thank you. 
right. It covered up a big part of the the writing that was on there. So that's good. So a little dollar and a quarter I think I had paid for this little uh, jar can be used in the bathroom or maybe to put cotton balls or whatever, you know. And you know what would add to this also 